Good afternoon, practice members. This is Dr. Chris from Dinette Family Chiropractic coming to you from Easton, Massachusetts, where right now we are having a significant snowstorm. And practice members always joke um, when we have before a, uh, a storm like this, and they try to estimate how many new people we'll have after the storm hits. Our hope is actually none. Um, people who come to see us after they hurt themselves from shoveling usually have some form of a disc injury. If I were to tell you the best way to injure a disc, I would tell you to put a very heavy weight to the side of you. I would tell you to bend over, twist around, and just using your back, pull that weight up as quickly as you can. Does that look like shoveling to you? It looks like shoveling to me. And that's usually how people injure themselves um, when uh, during a storm. <clears throat> it's never a good thing. It can lead to years of pain and discomfort. Instead, we always encourage people to come in beforehand to get an adjustment so that your body is at its best while you are shoveling and you're much less likely to get injured. So, I'm going to segue into the top uh, five tips that we have to uh, avoid injury during a storm. So, number one, I've already mentioned, make sure that your body is in tip-top shape before the storm hits by seeing your chiropractor, making sure that your spine is in alignment, making sure you have no subluxations. Um, if you're watching this right now and you realize it's too late, pause the video. Go call, leave a message with your chiropractor. Your future self will thank you. If you don't have a chiropractor uh, or you don't know of a chiropractor in your area, send me a message and I'll be happy to help you find a good one. Number two, uh, shovel with proper posture. You've heard this before. Keep your back straight, um, bend with your knees and your legs instead of your back and always make sure that you're switching sides um, every few minutes while you're shoveling. Number three is timing. Um, if you can, get out there multiple times during the day instead of just once. If you can only get, get out there once, make sure that your muscles are warmed up beforehand. Don't just jump out of bed and go shovel. Um, and if there is a lot of snow that's accumulated by the time you get out there, um, make sure that you shovel in layers. Take a reasonable amount that you, can, uh, that you can shovel and keep going down layer by layer until you hit the ground. Number four is take your time and focus on the shoveling itself. Shoveling's boring. I know we always want to be distracted by listening to music or doing anything else. Some people have are very short in time. They want to get out there and do it as quickly as possible. But when we're not paying attention to what our body is doing, when we're not in our bodies at the moment, when we're not present, that's usually when your body gets injured. Number five, somebody, uh, something that people don't usually think of is drink water and stay hydrated. Remember that your discs are mostly water. Keeping them hydrated will also help you prevent an injury. As always, we are here to help and serve you. Best of luck to everybody with the storm.